Okay, so no jokes, no funny dialogues, no hyperboles in this video. We need to take things seriously. I hadn't talked about this too much on the channel because I was kind of waiting for everything to be revealed, but with Blackhawks GM Stan Bowman stepping aside, and with the press conference done today, not even press conference, just media showcase done by the owner and chairman Rocky Wirtz, CEO Danny Wirtz, and the lead investigator of this entire thing, Reed Shar of Jenner and Block LLP, speaking, we had ourselves what was a very serious topic to address regarding the Blackhawks and the allegations regarding Brad Aldrich. Now, Big warning to anybody who is sensitive to this kind of material. There's a lot of graphic stuff that goes on in, firstly, the report that is revealed and just highlighted here in the Blackhawks letter to the fans. So if anybody is sensitive to any of this material, then please feel free to step aside and go about your day. But the biggest piece of news came in the form of Blackhawks GM Stan Bowman stepping aside. And the reason for that is because... According to the CEO, Danny Wirtz, he has made a mistake, and that mistake, conducted back in 2010, did indeed involve the Brad Aldrich situation, where I don't even know how to describe it, just assault. Sexual assault. Here are some of the tweets from the insiders talking about, oh, he stepped aside, where it says that he has stepped aside, the Blackhawks announced that he has resigned. Now Kyle Davidson, who was the assistant general manager of the Blackhawks, is now the interim GM, so he will be taking over while the Blackhawks look for a new general manager. With this, no Blackhawks executives involved in 2010 will be with the organization going forward. We also have some more things going on. Danny Wirtz saying that John Doe deserved better from the Blackhawks, especially since the organization did not take any proper action. What do they mean by this? Okay, well, the organization that was conducting this investigation interviewed 139 people, and they actually made it very clear in the media availability today that this investigation was done solely independent of the Blackhawks. There was no Blackhawks tinkering, the Blackhawks weren't going in there influencing who they talked to and dictating what they were going to say. It was just Jenner and Block LLP going out here and doing their thing, investigating and interviewing who they thought was appropriate. So we can go over what exactly the letter is here to our fans, partners, and community. The Blackhawks are more than just a hockey team. We are a community that is built up upon trust and support of our players, fans, employees, and partners. The trust was shaken up when disturbing allegations recently came to light about our handling of sexual misconduct that occurred 11 years ago. When we learned of these detailed allegations as part of recent public reports, our ownership initiated an independent investigation led by the law firm Jenner and Block to determine what occurred and how our organization responded. The organization delivered their findings to the Blackhawks, and the report can be read in full right here. So, the entire thing is online. It's a... how many pages is this? 107-page report about Brad Aldrich and the Chicago Blackhawks and how they have handled this situation. It's very, very disturbing. So I will leave a link in the description so you can go ahead and read this, or maybe I'll just leave a link to the statement itself from the Blackhawks because the link is indeed right here. There is indeed a content warning because it is necessary. The report details very troubling events that occurred in 2010 and outlines the Blackhawks' knowledge and treatment of those events at that time. It's clear the organization and its executives at that time did not live up to our own standards or values in handling those disturbing events. We deeply regret that harm caused to John Doe and other individuals who were affected and the failure to promptly respond. As an organization, we extend our profound apologies to the individuals who suffered from those experiences. We must and will do better. They then talk about what they're going to do off the ice and how they're going to bounce back from this talking about how they adhere to the highest ethical, professional, and athletic standards. Since 2010, positive changes throughout the organization, especially over the past year. That's also what Wirtz was discussing on the video where they talked about this to the media. 
They discuss policies, procedures, practices. They have reviewed and modernized their employee handbook to ensure that best practices are being handled, including anti-harassment, discrimination, and retaliation policies. The entire Blackhawks organization participates in mandatory annual anti-harassment and anti-discrimination trainings. We believe these actions underscore and solidify our commitment to ensuring that the failures of the past will not be repeated. So... There is indeed a lot of heavy emotions going on throughout this process, and with it coming to light today, I mean, it's just very, very unfortunate to see not only the fact that Aldrich was given a role on this team and that he was given a letter of recommendation to allow him, in a way, to do this stuff even further, and that the Blackhawks knew about this. Shar said that the Blackhawks officials held a meeting in May 23, 2010 to discuss the allegations of the assault. Those present in that meeting included John McDonough, Stan Bowman, Joel Quenville, Jay Blunk, and Kevin Sheveldayoff. However, Quenville and Sheveldayoff both denied knowing about the allegations at the time when they were first asked about it in July. So, if they're saying that there was a meeting done 11 years ago, including these guys talking about these allegations, only for Quenville and Sheveldayoff to say earlier this year, oh, this is the first time I've heard about it. We didn't know about the allegations. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There's a reason why 139 people were interviewed in this process by Jenner and Block, and there's a reason why some of them were interviewed several times, so that indeed is another layer uncovered over here. Sheveldayoff said in July, I had no knowledge of any allegations involving Aldrich until asked if I was aware of anything just prior to the conclusion of his employment with the Chicago Blackhawks. Quenville said, I first learned of these allegations through the media earlier this summer. And, you know, it does say here, to be fair, both statements were made to the media, not under oath. Do with that what you will. Mark Bergevin was also with the Hawks at the time. In the summer, he said he was not a part of any meeting. He was not a part of any decision based on that. He was not aware of what was going on at the time. And so far, it appears the investigation confirms that because he was not present in this meeting that Shar said actually happened 11 years ago. So, many horrors of the past decade coming to light over here. And... Mark my words, man, this entire thing of Bowman stepping down and needing to find a new GM and all that, it's not ending. This whole thing is not ending. We still have more to uncover, and we still have a few more steps to do as well. Stan Bowman still part of the USA Olympic team, isn't he? So we're going to have to have ourselves a decision made on that. If he's stepping out from the Blackhawks, I would imagine he's stepping out from the Olympic team too, right? There's no reason to keep this guy in your squad. I was going to make um, another video, actually, talking about the Blackhawks and the Seth Jones trade and how bad that was. But then when they released that there was going to be a video posted and media availability done from Wirtz and the Jenner and Block guys, it was like, yeah, okay, we're going to step aside from the Stan Bowman mistakes of the Seth Jones trade and highlight the mistakes done 11 years ago. So very, very tragic stuff. Very, very scary stuff. Stan Bowman has stepped aside, and the Chicago Blackhawks have released that statement pretty much confirming everything that was highlighted in that report. So, it's 107 pages long. If you want to go ahead and read it, you can go ahead and do that, but big trigger warning. It's definitely not for the faint of heart, so talk to me in the comments. What do you think about this video over here? I'm not going to do the outro because it is kind of tongue-in-cheek. I'll just leave you with everything that we had seen so far based off of that video, and yeah, just my condolences to John Doe and anybody who had been affected in this situation. The Blackhawks were just despicable in allowing this to go on and allowing Aldrich to have a platform and recommending him to get further job opportunities where he was able to assault people even further. It's a horror story over here, man. And it's even scarier because this isn't some devil. This isn't some monster. This isn't some crazy ghost paranormal activity. No, this is a man, and that makes it even worse. So, talk to me in the comments, all the stuff that you think. I hope you enjoyed. No, I hope you didn't enjoy this video. Really hope you didn't enjoy this video. Links are in the description to all this stuff, and bye.